Okay, let's be honest. Being a teenager is hard. Do we need beauty pageants to make it even harder? Teenagers are the only people in the world that have the time to overthink everything you've ever said about them. Don't believe me? Next time you see a teenager at the supermarket, walk up to them and say, what's wrong with you? And then just walk away. See their head explode. <laughs> Welcome back to People Be Like. I'm your host, William Haynes. Why do we have beauty pageants? I don't understand them. It seems like the only reason they're there is to show how terrible America is at raising its children. America, yeah. I mean, I swear, some of these programs must be made to intentionally embarrass America. People in other countries are like, geez, I'm so glad we don't have extra time. Are we out of butter this year? You might have heard that the top five finalists for Miss Teen America this year were white girl, white girl, white girl, white girl, and white girl. Really? That's the best we can do? I haven't seen something this white since Mitt Romney's last Christmas card. It's crazy to me because I feel like these days diversity is becoming more and more shined on, almost required, to the point where every episode of everything looks like a We Can Fight AIDS commercial. But the event has gone through some changes over the years. What you may not have known is that Miss Teen USA is actually getting rid of its bikini contest because, yeah, that's kind of creepy. I've never been in a bikini contest, but if I did, I would win because I have ass. And it's not even from like working it out, it's from genetics. Instead, they've replaced that category with athleisure. For those of you who don't know what athleisure is, that makes sense. Technically, it's a trend in fashion where clothing is designed for workouts and sporty activities. So essentially, the same shit. I feel like there are a lot of categories that should have long ago been put into place that really reflect what it means to be a teen American girl. Like, who can text the fastest or actually know the lyrics to the weekend songs? But then again, a little competition never hurt anybody except for a couple of people. Maybe people today need competition, but I think we should change some of the subjects. Instead of having a bikini contest, we should see who can read the most pages and understand it in 15 minutes. Um, uh, Gulliver, Gulliver went on a travel. But who am I to criticize? I've never been in a pageant before, so I just want to take today to show that I can be somebody. I have so many talents that I'm willing to show to the board. For instance, Tibetan throat singing. That's not it. That's not it at all. I'm also very skilled in solving complex problems. If it's taken them two minutes to respond to your text message, you take two minutes. Two minutes is gold. And most importantly, I have ass. So what do you guys at home think? Are pageants and competitions like this good or bad for society? What category do you think they should include? Let me know in the comments down below and subscribe to this channel, People Be Like, for four new videos a week. I'm William Haynes. I feel like a big part of having fun is having friends, so I decided to get some. At this point, I'm desperate, so I'll take anybody. Yo, anybody seen some Pikachus over here? <laughs> Pokemon go to the pole, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, love. I love drawing people's faces because even if you mess up, some people look like that. 